Good morning. Today, we are going to analyze the effects of changing the values of A, H, and K in our quadratic function, specifically its effect on the graph. Using GeoGebra, let us graph where A is equal to 1. So, Y is equal to X squared. A is equal to 1. That is the graph. The vertex is at the origin. If we are going to graph the second function, y equals 2x squared. In here, a is equal to 2. So as you can see, color blue, that is the graph. And then let's have another one. y equals 3x squared. This time around, the value of a is 3. That the red one, there is the graph. If I will be having y equals negative x squared, where a is equal to negative 1, the graph is colored orange. Obviously, it opens downward because the value of a is negative. If we have y equals negative 2x squared, yes, the graph is there, colored violet. And if we have y equals negative 3x squared, the value of a is negative 3. That is the graph colored gray. Now let us analyze how does the value of a changes the graph. Again, this color green is y equals x squared, so a is equal to 1. The colored blue one here, the color blue, 2x squared, a is equal to 2. And the red one here, y is equal to 3x squared, so a is equal to 3. Again, a is equal to, in green, is equal to 1. In blue, a is equal to 2. And in red, a is equal to 3. So based on this graph, how does the value of a affect the graph? Okay, as the value of a increases, what happens to the graph? The graph becomes narrower. But if you have a negative value of a, just like this one, the orange, that is negative 1, the value of a is negative 1, the violet, a is equal to negative 2, and then the gray one, A is equal to negative 3. So if you are going to notice, it do not have the same conclusion as what we have in the first example because negative numbers are different. Now, how are we going to have a conclusion that is applicable both in positive and negative value of A? Any idea? Yes, it has to be the absolute value of A. We are going to use the absolute value of A so that we will be having the same conclusion whether the value of A is positive or negative. And again, the conclusion is as the absolute value of A increases, the graph becomes narrower. And as the absolute value of A decreases, the graph becomes wider. Let us see if you understand. Again, as the value of A increases, the graph becomes narrower. And as the value of A decreases, the graph becomes wider. Now, question number one in here. Which is narrower? Y equals negative 4x squared or Y equals 4x squared? Which is narrower? Very good. None. Wala. They have the same width in terms of the graph. Pareho lang ang lapad ng graph nila. The only difference is that this function, y equals negative x squared, opens downward. And this one, y equals 4x squared, will open upward. But in terms of the width of the graph, they, they are just the same. So let's have number 2, which is wider. y equals 6x squared or y equals negative 4x squared. Which is wider? Yes, wider will be y equals negative 4x squared. Bakit? The absolute value of a here is 6 and the absolute value of a here is 4. We are looking for a wider opening of the graph. And as we say, as the value of a decreases, the graph becomes wider. So this one is definitely wider than y equals 6x squared. How about this one? Y, which is wider? Y equals 1 half x squared or y equals 4 over 3 x squared. Which is the value of a? That is, that is lower or higher? We are going to look for the value of a that is lower because we are trying to find the wider the wider parabola or the wider 
graph because becomes wider if A decreases. Now, which among the two will be our wider graph? Yes, the wider graph is Y equals one-half X squared. Very good. Time around, let us see how does the graph will change as the value of h changes. In y equals x squared, the value of h obviously is 0, and there is your graph. Now, if y is equal to, we have here quantity x minus 2 squared. In here, the value of h, as you all know, is 2, and the graph is this one. So that is the change. If we have y equals the quantity x, we have now x minus 3. The value of h is 3. And then the graph becomes this one, the blue one. Now, if we have y equals the quantity x plus 1 squared, wherein the value of h is negative 1, here is our graph. And if we have y equals quantity x plus 4, the value of h is negative 4. This time around, this is the graph. Now, let us analyze how does the value of H affect the graph or what is the effect of H on the graph of our par parabola or quadratic function. From here, we have here Y equals X squared. The vertex is at zero or at the origin. What happens if you have Y equals X minus 2 squared? What is the value of H here? Yes, in here, h is equal to, is equal to 2. And what happened to the graph? As you can see here, colored green from 0, the vertex shifted 2 units to the right. And then if you have x minus 3, what is the value of h? Yes, the value of h here is 3. That is why, as you can see here, colored blue ang ating parabola from 0 it shifted 3 units to the right but what if the value of h is negative just like in quantity x plus 1 squared yes the value of h here is obviously yes it is equal to negative 1 and what happened to the graph the colored red one from 0 it shifted to the it shifted to the left. How many units? It shifted one unit to the left. And if I have x plus 4 squared, again, the value of h here is negative 4. And what happened to our graph? As you can see here, it shifted 4 units to the left. So to conclude the effect of h on the graph, Yes, if H is positive, then the vertex is shifted H units to the right. Meaning to say, if H is 10, positive 10, then the graph will shift 10 units to the right. On the other hand, if H is a negative number, then the vertex will shift H units to the left. Meaning to say, if your H is negative 7, what will happen to the graph? Yes, it will shift 7 units to the left. So, let us see what will happen as the value of k this time around changes. In y equals x squared, a is equal to 1, h is 0, and k also is equal to 0. If we have the graph, y equals x squared plus 3, the value of k here is positive 3, and this is the graph color blue. And if we have the next one, y equals this time around, let us have x squared minus 3. The value of k here is negative 3, the red one, and this is the graph. If we have y equals, let us have x squared plus 2. Yes, I am writing here x squared plus 2. The graph is colored orange, and here is the graph. And the last one, if we have y equals 
x squared. Let us have y equals x squared minus 5 this time around. Let us write it, x squared minus 5. The value of k is negative 5. The graph is colored violet. This is the graph. For us to see it clearly, there is y equals x squared minus 5. Okay, so let us analyze how does the value of k affect our parabola or graph. The green one here is y equals x squared. The value of k is 0, so the vertex is a 0. If you have the blue parabola, y is equal to x squared plus 3. The value of k here, okay, the value of k here is positive 3. And the graph is colored, is colored blue. So we have here the graph. What happened to the graph from the vertex 0? What happened? Yes, it shifted upward. How many units? Yes, it shifted 3 units upward. And if you are going to notice, x squared minus 3, the value of k here is negative 3. Our graph is the red one. Where is the graph? Yes, this one. And what happened from our x squared? Yes, this time around, it shifted 3 units downward. The next example, let us see what is the value of k here. Yes, the value of k here is 2. We have color orange. So, what happened to our graph? Yes, it shifted 2 units upward. And then lastly, our value of k is negative 5. Colored violet is our graph. And here is the graph. What happened? Yes, it shifted 5 units downward. So, to conclude, how does the value of k affect the graph or what is the effect of k on the graph of the parabola? Yes, if k is positive, then the vertex is shifted k units upward. And if k is negative, the vertex is shifted downward. This is y equals x squared. What if we will be having y equals, we have y equals quantity x plus 3, we have squared, the value of h is negative 3, that's why the graph is here, and then if I put minus 2, the value of k is negative 2, the graph becomes this one. So again, if you have x plus 3, the graph is here. And if you have x plus 3 squared minus 2, the graph is this one. Then if we have y equals, we have now x minus 4 squared. The value of h is positive 4. Then the graph, the graph will be, Yes, the graph will be this one, colored green. It shifted there. But if I will be adding plus 1, where in the value of k is 1, from this colored green, it becomes this graph. And then if we have y equals quantity, we have here x minus 2 squared, the value of h is positive 2, that is the red one, we have here. But if I add a value of k, which is negative 3, the red one here, okay, it shifted downward here. Let's analyze again what happened here. So again, your blue is x squared. For letter G, that is the colored gray here. What happened to the graph? As you can see here, from here, it shifted to the... It shifted to the left how many units? 3 units as you can see here because the value of H is negative 3 and then it shifted 2 units downward because the value of K is negative 2. And then if we have graph H, Y equals X minus 4 squared plus 1, the value of H is 4 and the value of k is 1. So what will happen here? The green one from 0, since you have h is positive 4, that's why it shifted 4 units to the right and your k is positive 1, that's why it shifted 1 unit upward. 
And also, the last one, the color red one, what have you noticed here? From zero, it shifted to the right. How many units? Two units. And then, it shifted downward. How many units? Three units. Because the value of H is positive 2, so it shifted to the right. And the value of K is negative 3. That is why it shifted to the it shifted downward. See how well you understand the lesson? So we have here y is equal to 2x squared. Considering that this graph, violet, is y is equal to 2x squared, let us name all the five parabolas that we have here. Let us begin with parabola colored gray. This is our parabola. Based from here, what happened to the original y equals 2x squared? Yes, it shifted. It shifted 3 units downward. And if it is downward, it has something to do with the value of k. So what is the graph or what is the equation of this graph? That is y equals 2x squared minus 3. The value of k is negative 3 because again, the graph shifted 3 units downward. Now let us have the second one wherein the graph is colored green. What happened here? Yes, from zero, it shifted. It shifted two units to the right. So it has something to do with the value of H. So we will be having A quantity X minus H squared. We do not have the value of K because it is still at zero. Hindi naman siya nag-upward, hindi rin siya nag-downward. It only shifted to the right. Therefore, what is the equation of our parabola that is colored green? Yes, that is Y equals 2 times the quantity X minus 2 squared. Again, the value of A is 2 and the value of H is positive 2. Don't be confused. If you have x minus h squared, the value of h is positive. And if you have x plus h squared, the value of h is negative. Now, let us proceed with the blue one. The parabola that is a blue one. From 0, what happened? It shifted to the, it shifted to the left 5 units. Meaning to say, left, the value of h is negative. That is why we will be having y equals 2, the value of A, times the quantity x plus 5 squared. Again, if it is x plus h, then the h is negative. Let us consider the next one, the color red parabola. We have here what happened. It shifted, as you can see, downward and also to the, to the left. It shifted first 2 units to the left and then 3 units downward. 2 units to the left, meaning to say h is negative and 3 units downward so the value of k is also negative so the graph of the red parabola is y equals 2 times the quantity x plus 2 squared the h is negative and then minus 3 because our k is negative because it shifted downward one let us have the parabola which is colored orange what happened here from zero it shifted to the Yes, it shifted 4 units to the right and upward. How many units? 1 unit. Again, it changes from, yes, it shifted 4 units to the right and 1 unit upward. Therefore, the equation of parabola colored orange is 2 or y equals 2 times the quantity x minus 4 squared. The value of h is positive 4 and then it shifted upward 1 unit. That's why the value of k is positive 1. I hope everything is clear. So let us have again, how does A, H, and K affect our graph? The effect of A, as the absolute value of A increases, the graph becomes narrower. And as the absolute value of A decreases, the graph becomes wider. And for H, if H is positive, then the vertex will shift H units to the right. If it is negative, it will shift H units to the left. And for the effect of K, if K is positive, then the vertex will shift K units upward. If it is negative, the vertex will shift K units downward. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.